Hello there. Happy Friday. Welcome to chapter four of the case of the missing Valentine. This chapter is called Candy Math. After dinner and homework, I got down to business. I grabbed everything I needed and spread it out on the kitchen table. I was making a Sea and Spy magazine. First, I poured some globs of glue on the inside back cover. I smooshed the last page of the magazine to the back cover. Glue leaked out the edges. I should have put newspaper under the magazine. The table was getting sticky. Oh, well, too late now. The directions said to wait for the glue to dry. I counted to six. Then I cut a peephole. It wasn't very round, but that's all right. On the opposite page, I taped a small mirror. My parents and Grams were in the living room. I sat down and pretended to read. When I held the magazine up, I could peek through the hole. To see what was happening behind me, I looked in the mirror. Too bad, nothing was happening, but I didn't mind. My plan was set. Now I could bring it to school and spy on all four suspects. Who was sending me the notes? Was it Kim or Gita, Athena or Nicole? Whoever it was, I wanted to catch them red-handed. Earth to Theodore, Earth to Theodore, can you hear me? My mom poked a, ping, a finger through my peephole. Mom! I cried, please, I'm not Theodore, I'm Jigsaw, and I'm very busy right now. I can see that, she said. You're busy dripping glue all over your pants. I looked down. White globs of glue covered my jeans. In the bathroom, my mom rinsed them off with a wet sponge. I stood in my pajamas and watched. You know how I hate it when you call me Theodore, I complained. It's what we named you, dear, she said. But no one who likes me calls me that, I said. All my friends call me Jigsaw. She kissed my forehead. Off to bed now, Theodore. I love you, even if you don't like your name. Sleep tight. My dad came into the room and read to me, like he usually does. I fell asleep right away. It had been a long time hard day. In school on Tuesday, Miss Gleason gave us the best math project ever. It was delicious. No kidding. In room 201, we didn't sit in straight rows. We had clusters. I sat at a cluster with Mila, Joey Pignatano, and Gita Nair. Miss Gleason gave us, gave every table a plastic bag filled with candy hearts. We were supposed to work together to answer math questions. When we were done, Miss Gleason said we could eat them. On a worksheet called Estimation, we had to guess how many hearts were in the bag. Joey Pignatano guessed 93 hearts. When we counted them, there were only 40. Then we had to subtract to find the difference. 93 minus 40 equals 53. Joey was wrong by 53 hearts. We did classification too. That meant putting the candy hearts in groups by color. I like the pink ones best, Joey said. I like the purple ones, Mila said. How about you, Gita? What is your favorite color to eat? Gita shrugged. I don't remember, she said. I haven't eaten any since last Valentine's Day. Mila and I looked at each other. We were thinking the same thing. Cross Gita's name off the list. My secret valentine gave me two candy hearts. Whoever it was must have saved a few hearts for herself. I was glad that it wasn't Gita. We were just starting to be friends. It would be a shame to ruin it now. We made candy heart crafts. We lined up all the candy hearts by color and measured the row. We compared different kinds of candy hearts. Yellow was the winner. We even built heart towers. Joey built his seven hearts high before it fell. Finally, Miss Gleason let us eat the candy. Math never tasted so good. I tried out the Sea and Spy magazine during recess. I watched some of the kids poking around the post office, but I didn't notice anything strange. 
Mike Radcliffe and Bobby Solofsky were messing around at their table. I saw it in the mirror. Bobby was trying to rip the head off a Batman action figure. What a guy. Let's work on Abraham Lincoln after school, Mila said to me. Okay, I said, but I've got to go see Bobby Solofsky first. Mila was surprised. She knew that Bobby Solofsky wasn't one of my best friends. He invited me over, I explained. Bobby said he had to talk to me. Detective to detective.